Do you hate flyaways? Well, now because of Lightroom's new update, you can actually get rid of them in no time. So let's get into the video and I'll show you how. My name is Will, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you the quickest way to get rid of hair flyaways really fast and easy without much fuss, mess, trying to figure it out. Just a little tweaks here and there, but overall super easy. So let's dive into Lightroom and get started. Here's a photo I took the other day, and as you can see, we have some flyaways here. Now, that's not that big of a deal. I've seen way worse, but the principle applies the same to pretty much any photo that you take. Now, we're gonna do a couple adjustments really quick. The first thing we're gonna do is just pop on a quick preset, uh, which is available for free in the link below. This is my dark and delicious moody preset. So we're gonna do that, and then we're going to just make a few tweaks because it doesn't fit the scene as much. We're gonna make it a little bit warmer. We're going to raise the exposure just a little bit. We're going to crop this photo to a four by five and straighten it up to this pole here and get started there. Now, I'm not going to apply any AI adjustment masks because when you use generative fill or generative remove in Lightroom, you have to then update the masks and it's a pain in the butt. So whenever you do generative uh, removes or anything like that, always do them before you do any AI masks. That means select people, select subjects, select background, select sky, any of those, do your generative removes first. So we're gonna press Q on the keyboard. That will open up our remove tool, make sure our, uh, we have the remove one selected and generative AI selected. We are then going to simply paint over the flyaway areas and refine it, get it just about as good as we want. Get that there, gonna remove those, and we're gonna remove this awful blue sign. And then I'm also gonna remove this over here, which was a light from another photographer who was shooting a wedding over here. Uh, get these here, let's just smooth all this out. Now you can make multiple selections like this and each individual mask or um, selection will be a generative fill. If the masks overlap, that whole thing will be one. So this will be one on this side, one here, and one here, three total. Once we have it all selected, press apply and let it do its thing. Now with generative remove, remember you do have to have Wi-Fi. So if you notice that this, uh, the generative AI box is grayed out, you might not have internet connection, which is why you won't be able to use it. Good, there we go. Now, this one looks perfect, this one looks perfect, but we can select this one here and make a few adjustments. We can go through the variations here and see if there's a better one, that's better. And that one looks too, too fine. So we're gonna use number two, and there we have it. We have perfect flyaways all gone. Here's before, here's after. I mean, that was pretty freaking awesome. Now, once you're done with that, then you can apply your AI mask. So we're gonna press Shift W on the keyboard, press Select Subject. We're going to brighten her up a little bit. We're then going to warm her up a little bit. We are also going to apply my Skin Eye Teeth Masks AI, which uh, softens the skin, brightens the eyes, and whitens the teeth. She has, there's no teeth in this image, so you'll notice the little triangle here. We can delete that. Then we're gonna apply a little linear gradient here, darken her down, and voila. Actually, let's brighten her eyes just a little bit more. Go to the eyes here, get them popping, add a little bit of blue. We can actually go down here to sharpening. We can add some sharpen to her eyes. And again, we're gonna brighten them up a little bit more. There we go, yeah, perfect. Nope, whoa, that looks way too much. Good, come down here. You don't want it to look too, too crazy. And there you have it. That is the quick way to remove flyaways in an image, staying in Lightroom, but also a little roundabout way to make sure you don't have to constantly update your AI masks. Hope this helps. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Here's two videos I think you'll enjoy, and I will see you in the next one. Later.